Good day everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to compute or measure the no load current of a transformer. So we have here a transformer. So it has a three terminal output in the secondary winding. So these are the materials and tools that we are going to use in performing the measurement and computation. First, we have the transformer. We have the uh, fuse holder with fuse. We have the digital multimeter. We have the alligator clip with wire. And the AC line cord with plug. So these are the materials and tools that we are going to use in computation and measuring the no load current of a transformer. When we say the no load current of a transformer, it means that the secondary winding is in an open circuit. There is no load connected on the secondary winding of a transformer. So, the first thing we must do is to indicate the numbering of the, out, the secondary winding terminal. Suppose we do not know the uh, uh, output of the transformer. So suppose we do not know the, the uh, voltage output of the secondary winding of a transformer. So we're going to name the terminal of the secondary winding. So first, this will be the terminal 1. The second one is the terminal 2. And the third one is the terminal 3. So the first thing we, uh, we need to do is to measure the resistance of the terminal 1 and the terminal 2, the terminal 1 and the terminal 3, and the last is the resistance of the terminal 2 and the terminal 3. So first, let's set the digital multimeter to resistance range. So it is already set to resistance range. So I'm going to use an, uh, in an alligator clip so that it cannot affect no, the vibration of my hands or the uh, resistance of my hands in measuring the resistance of the secondary winding. So I'm going to connect the alligator clip to the test probe of the digital multimeter. And then the other part of the alligator clip will be connected to the terminal 1 and terminal 2. Right? So first, we're going to write... Uh, oops. Okay, so let's going to write terminal 1. So we have the terminal 1 and 2, terminal 1 and 3, then terminal 2 and 3. So we have here the resistance. Okay, the resistance of terminal 1 and terminal 2 is... 1.4 or 1.5 ohms so we have here the okay so 1.4 ohms so 1.4 ohms so the resistance of terminal 1 and terminal 2 is 1.4 ohms next we're going to measure the resistance of terminal 1 and terminal 3 so I'm going to place the other alligator clip to terminal 3. So let us see what is the measurement. So the measurement or the resistance of terminal 1 and 2 is 2.7. Right? It's The resistance of terminal 1 and 3 is 2.7 ohms. Next, terminal 2 and Terminal 3. 
I will transfer the alligator clip from terminal 1 to terminal 2. So the resistance of terminal 2 and 3 is 1.5, right? 1.5 ohms. So 1.5 ohms. Right? So we are done in measuring the resistance of terminal 1 and 2, terminal 1 and 3, and terminal 2 and 3. Next, we're going to measure the output voltage of the terminal 1 and 2, terminal 1 and 3, and terminal 2 and 3. Okay? First, we need the AC line cord with plug. We're going to use the fuse for protective or the fuse serve as a protective device to protect the circuit from short circuit. So remember to use the fuse or use the fuse for your protection. Right? I will connect the AC line cord to the uh, terminal of the fuse and the other terminal of the fuse will be connected to the one of the terminal of the primary winding. <coughs> and the other line of the AC line cord will be connected to the other terminal of the primary winding. Right? Next, we're going to set the VOM or the digital multimeter, sorry, so digital multimeter to ACB range. So, we're going to select the ACB. So, that's it. Because the output of the transformer is alternating current so we're going to use the ACB range so we're going to connect the alligator clip to terminal 1 and terminal 2 remember do not plug the AC plug to the outlet unless you have already connected all the wirings in measuring the output of the secondary winding for your protection because it consists of 220 volts that can be dangerous to our health when we have encounter an electrical shock okay now it's already connected we can now plug in the plug to the outlet so that we can measure the voltage of terminal 1 and terminal 2 Right, we have the output voltage of terminal 1 and 2. So the output is 19.12 volts. So we have 19.12 volts. Next, we're going to measure the output or the voltage from terminal 1 and terminal 3. But before we're doing that, we're going we need to unplug first now. The connection to the outlet for our protection once we have to remove or reconnect any circuit in testing the voltage of the secondary winding we need to unplug first the connection to the outlet so now I'm going to remove the connection to terminal 2 and connect it to the terminal 3 then we can now plug the AC plug. Okay. So the measurement or the voltage measurement of terminal 1 and 3 is 38.20 volts. So we have 38.20 volts. Next. The terminal or the voltage measurement of terminal 2 and terminal 3. So we go, we need to unplug the circuit and then connect remove the uh, alligator clip to terminal 1 and place it to 
terminal 2 so that we can measure the voltage of terminal 2 to and terminal 3 then plug it again and then we have here the output voltage of 19.06 volts so we have 19.05 volts all right then i'm going to unplug it okay set aside all the circuit now once we have the voltage measurement and the resistance measurement now we can compute now now we can compute the no load current of terminal 1 and 2 terminal 1 and 3 and terminal 2 and 3 using the ohms formula or the ohms law formula so the ohms law formula is current is equal to voltage over resistance so this is the ohms law formula in finding the current so let us see or let's compute the no load current of terminal 1 and 2 so current of terminal 1 and 2 is equal to voltage of terminal 1 and 2 Divide by the resistance of terminal 1 and 2. So substitute the value. So voltage so voltage 1 and 2 is 19.12 volts. Divide by 1.4 ohms. So in this case, we need a calculator for the computation. Because in manual compute computing, this kind of number is uh, hard or very, uh, it can take time to compute by manually. So we have here the calculator. So 19.12 divided by 1.4 is equal to 13.65 ampere so the no load current of terminal 1 and 2 is 13.65 ampere so here is 13.65 ampere so the no load current of terminal 1 and 2 is 13.65 ampere next let us compute the no load current of terminal 1 and 3 so, no load current of terminal 1 and 3 is equal to voltage of terminal 1 and 3 divided by the resistance of terminal 1 and 3. Substitute the value. We have 38.2 volts divided by 2.7 ohms. So, let us see. So, 38.2 Divide by 2.7 is equal to 14.14 ampere. So, the no load current of terminal 1 and 3 is equal to 14.4 ampere. So, the no load current of terminal 1 and 3 is 14.14 ampere. Next, the last one. We have here the no load current of terminal 2 and 3 is equals to the voltage of terminal 2 and 3 divided by the resistance of terminal 2 and 3. Substitute the value. We have 19.05 volts divided by 1.5 ohms. So the no load current of 2 and 3 is equal to so 19.05 divided by 1.5 is equal to 12.7 ampere. So the no load current of terminal 2 and 3 is 
12.7 ampere. Okay? So that is the uh, process of computing and measuring the no-load current of a transformer. Okay? So there are two types or two ways two ways in computing and measuring the no load current of a transformer on my next video i will show you the second step or second way of knowing or computing or measuring the no load current of a transformer okay so that's all for today so thank you for listening and God bless.